I'm Ryan and you're watching Brew. <laughs> Today we're making a very simple custom license plate. I decided to make a custom license plate for my 1986 Pontiac Fiero GT to use during car shows and when we're making videos. I took an old plate that came with the car and started by cleaning off all the gunk with some Goo Gone and a Scotch-Brite pad. The Goo Gone's a little oily, so I followed that up with some general purpose cleaner and a paper towel. And of course, we used the blue shop towels because that's what you gotta do, right? After that, I gave it a quick sanding with some 120 grit sandpaper, but in retrospect, I probably should have started with a heavier grit and maybe even used my orbital sander because I could still see some pretty obvious flaws in the finished product. I gave it a good coating with some Rust-Oleum Pro Primer and followed that up with a few coats of Rust-Oleum Pro Enamel. Really wish paint would dry faster. Because I'm impatient, I used my heat gun to help it dry a lot faster. Now, I've gotta tell you, I have absolutely ruined paint in the past by doing this because the heat gun gets really, really hot and if you hold it there for too long or get too close, it will just make the paint bubble and completely ruin it. So if you decide to do this to make your paint dry faster, just use some caution. Then I hopped on my computer to design the lettering. I downloaded a license plate font, matched it up to the right size, and printed it out on my Silhouette vinyl cutter. If you don't have a vinyl cutter, there are lots of places online you can order vinyl stickers for pretty darn cheap. And of course, no bro build would be complete without at least one mistake. But this is not gonna be the last mistake for this project. You gotta be kidding me. At least I know it's gonna stick really well. It just like slipped, slipped off my other hand and just stuck, man. Oh, I hope it doesn't mess the paint up at all. Oh, sweet. Maybe should not have done this before I, before the paint was all the way cured. Looks like I'll be doing one more coat of paint. After peeling off the unneeded parts of the second sticker and putting on the transfer tape, I was ready for attempt number two. Holding it very securely this time. Success! And man, this part is just so satisfying. Then I sprayed a couple coats of clear to finish it off. For mounting, I'm using some ridiculously strong rare earth magnets I ordered from Amazon. I'll link them below if you wanna check them out. I super glued them on with some Gorilla Gel Super Glue. This stuff holds really well and it dries pretty fast. And I like that the gel glue doesn't drip a lot like regular super glue. My second mistake was putting the license plate face down on some wet super glue that I didn't realize had dripped on my table. The super glue immediately ate away the paint, which is this ugly spot you can see right here. I'll have to sand it down a bit and respray it to get rid of the spot, but for now, looks pretty good. Later. Yeah. 